Hello and welcome to Larested Brush. Today I'm going to be showing you how I start a new army, and my progress so far on that army. That army of course is Bretonia. It's my favorite faction in Warhammer Fantasy. I love everything about this faction. The lore, the miniatures, the tactics. In any game I play, video game or tabletop, I just love cavalry. And Bretonia is well known for its cavalry. So I bought a used Bretonian army a few years ago for a good price. It was all assembled in Prime, some of the units even had paint down on them too. They did a tremendous job doing conversion work, especially on the banners, so that army stayed in my basement for a while until now, when I heard about a Warhammer Fantasy event that was happening near me. This was no ordinary event either, it was being organized by the famous Val Heffelfinger, a legendary Warhammer podcaster who recently started playing Warhammer 8th Edition. Not only that, it was being posted in the mini Wargaming bunker. I haven't been to the new location, but I'm really hyped to see it. I had to decide an army to bring, and this was a perfect excuse for me to actually start painting my Bretonians. Now it was time to start the project. First, following the army composition guide for the event, I built a 2500 point list for my force on Battlescribe to figure out what I needed to start painting for the tournament. Well, before I start painting, I needed to figure out a scheme and a theme for my force. I love the later medieval period in history. I have a deep interest in the Hundred Years' War and Jean d'Arc specifically. So I have a theme in my mind now. I want to make a force based on medieval France during the Siege of Orleans and the later parts of the Hundred Years' War. This is a subject I'm familiar with, but I still want to go over a few things. I start by finding heraldry from online and from a book I have. If I have depictions of French knights that I find, I put them into a folder for me to go over later. All the research that I was doing gave me the itch to play one of my favorite games, Medieval 2 Total War. This game is what sparked my interest in the medieval period to begin with. I also found the aesthetic and units good inspiration for the army I was about to be painting. With a theme in mind and the research done, it was time to move on to painting. I only started at the beginning of November, and I started with the largest unit, my block of 49 men in arms. And man, did they take a while. I watched a lot of films while I was painting them, and that helped a lot. I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I thought about using decals and printing off heraldry, but something about freehanding all the shields on a poorly equipped men-at-arms unit made it seem fitting. For the knights, I'm going to freehand it as well, but I'm going to be a bit more precise on that. Now, the remainder of this week and next week are dedicating to painting the rest of the forces. I'm almost finished painting the trebuchet and the pilgrims with the reliquary. The real challenge is going to be finishing the knights. They're all going to have different heraldry, which is going to take a bit of time for me to paint. I have my deads, I'll have it fully painted by the 24th, but that's not going to stop me from continuing after the event's done. Anyways, I wanted to make a quick video on this project just to show how I started an army project, and hopefully I'll show the army once it's done in December. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Take care, everyone.